All right, can we get a Lissandra? Lissandra, thank you. Fancy seeing you here. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Watcher Yetis. This is gonna be a pretty cool combo deck. We played a similar deck where we called it Remitter Yetis um, a few days ago, maybe about a week ago. Um, but our our deck didn't do too well. It kind of felt like we just didn't have like enough top end or card advantage and things like that. Like we could get some Yetis in play, but opponents were going over the top. This deck is going to try to fix that problem. All right, so first of all, we're going to be playing our Yetis. We got our Yeti package. We want to get two Yetis in play. We got our Yeti Yearling, Avros and Trapper, Tall Tales. Only going two Ancient Yetis. But of course, you know, all of those, hopefully we get... Uh, Hopefully we get two Yetis in play, because then we play Abominable Guardian. And so Abominable Guardian comes into play for free once you have your two Yetis, and you got your eight-cost Yeti in play for free. And then you use Ethereal Remitter. So you get to use Ethereal Remitter, combo away that um, eight-cost Yeti, and get a different um, ally that costs two more. And of course, that means we're putting a 10-cost ally into play. There are six of them. Just kind of a little r reminder here. They, they are these six right here. Uh, let's see if I can get this. Oh, well, this is good. The Arbor of the Peak, uh, Atacon, Scythria, Plaza Guardian, Scuttle Guys, She Who Wanders. All six of these are upgrades over the Abominable Guardian, which is just a generic 5-5. Five five. But three of them aren't very big upgrades. Three of them are Scuttle Guys, Plaza Guardian, Arbiter of the Peak. Those three, they're, they're perfectly fine. They're upgrades, but they're just not spectacular. The other three... Are really good. You have She Who Wanders, which is a 10 10 regen. Good, but we could do better. Atacon, you know, 5 12 attack increase my power by the total power of all allies. That one is incredible. And then we have the one that's probably even the best is Scythria. So we really want Atacon, Scythria. We'll take She Who Wanders. Hopefully we don't hit those. Anyway, we had that combo last time and we found out that that combo was really hard to do. At least in the, the deck that we had, we had five games. You only got to do that combo one time. And we got an Arbor of the Peak, unfortunately. All right, so what we're going to change here with this deck is we're going to add in some more top end and add in some more ways to combo. So we're going to put Trundle in here because Trundle makes the Ice Pillars. Again, Ice Pillar is an eight cost ally. We can go Ice put, we can go ice Pillar and then Ethereal Remitter, kill the Ice Pillar. And that's another way to get a 10 drop into play. So, you know, we could get another one of these from the Ice Pillar. So that could be really cool. Um, and then we'll also have Lissandra because Lissandra, you know, cares about us uh, getting all these eight cost allies. Um, you know, it's so like every time we put in a Bombal Guardian or an Ice Pillar or we Ethereal Remitter and that's another summon. Um, you know, we need two of those to level up Lissandra, five of those to put in a Watcher. You know, so it'll just give us some more top end. Uh, with that so we'll have like that ability too so we'll have our yetis we'll have the 10 drops and uh maybe even a watcher if we're lucky we got one spectral matron in case you know just just like you know we have our leveled up lissandra we have our watcher we can have the spectral matron watcher combo that's still an amazing combo so we just got one of those just to be able to do that um you know if that comes up all right so that's going to be the deck uh the other thing that i really like about this deck is that whenever you get paired against your opponent and they see what champions you're playing they will see that we are playing um, Trundle and Lissandra with the regions Shadow Isles and Freljord and probably think that they're going to be playing against the Watcher control deck, right? They see this, they're like, oh, I know that deck. I've played against that deck for months. That's the Watcher control deck. And so that's what uh, they're going to be thinking whenever they're doing their mulligans and everything. And then we're going to come out with a bunch of yetis. So yeah, Stalking Shadows is just very, very good with our combo pieces. It's it's a way for us to find Abominable Guardian. It's great with Abominable Guardian to begin with. Then it also helps us find Ethereal Remitter. Also helps us be able to get multiple Yetis. Sivir LeBlanc. I kind of think I'm just going to mulligan all of these and just keep the Avalanche and see if we can get some other units. All right, cool. I think there's room for either Stalking Shadows or Glimpse Beyond in this deck. And I'm not exactly sure which one's better. We're going with the, the Stalking Shadows. 
Because, yeah, Stalking Shadows plus a Bombal Guardian is real good. Places to go. People to be. No. <clears throat> we need to have Avalanche happen first so that we get... Because otherwise, if I would do the Vile Feast, then the spider would have just died. We don't want our spider to die. Wow, what a life. Put that Yeti in there. Chase what you want without mercy. Man, I wish Stalking Shadows was two mana. If it was two mana, I would be able to play it and play Enrage Yeti and play Flash Freeze. Having two of those uh, plus one plus ones is pretty rough. I don't know what you're talking about, Dan. You said the Remitter version is three to four times more advanced. For what? Like, we are playing Remitter. What a treat. Why is Spell Shield a thing? We've been getting destroyed by Ruin Runner today. Man, Ruin Runner Spell Shield. If we can find. Do this. If we can find Lissandra, we got lots of eights. Seriously? More shape stones? Okay, so they're out of shape stones. That's good news. Um, more good news is that that's slow. Oh no, that is not good news. I was gonna say good. More good news that we're gonna have our eight drop combo the next round. I guess we we are giving that vulnerable. That's actually pretty nice. Stands beneath me and wins behind me. Um. Gotcha. We'll give this vulnerable. What news from the west, Lord? Oh no! A golden crown soon to be broken. Oh, I should have played the remitter. Never lucky. It's a living. Smoke and mirrors. Over there. They walked around. All right, can we get a Lissandra? Lissandra, thank you. Fancy seeing you here. What a treat. Woohoo! I too, sir. 
So just one card. Gosh, if I, flash, if I flash freeze the little Blanc. I'm going down to two. What card can that what card can this be that's gonna really punish me? They've already played all three of the plus three plus ones. What card keeps their tactician alive? I don't I don't know. Do they have another tactician? Do they I guess they could have just drawn it. If they drew a tactician. This one will do. Shurima Drain card. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going to be that would kill me. Alright, cool. Man, our Yeti deck's pretty sweet. So they have to have another LeBlanc in hand for the champion spell. Which is definitely possible. Wait, that's right. Watcher doesn't kill people these days. They still have more cards. Uh oh. I don't. All right, so they got to kill me with these cards right here. A perfect puppet. Rose says I'm on a losing streak. Can't win versus Siver. JJ says the Sivir buff might have been a bit of an overkill. Sivir's really tough to beat. Like, because Ruin Runner is better than a lot of champions. You get, you know, Sivir plus Ruin Runner. Like, you get an extra champion slot, basically. Like, Merciless Hunter is an upgrade over Callista. <laughs> Ruin Runner is like an upgrade over Hecarim. We were talking about that, that the other day. It's like get like better Shadow Isles champions. Plus you get your other champions. Alright, and then they're out of cards. GG's. Okay, we got Lissandra Trundle. This is definitely a matchup where we want a lot of card advantage. So, like, I like having the Stalking Shadows. I think I'll send the Matron back, but this could be a good Matron matchup. But I'll send it back. Keep these. Thank you, Nasher. Thanks for the donation deck. A meme to your Monday deck. Cool. See the Nebastian border from here. For the homestead. Alright, so we can get Enraged Yeti plus Tall Tales. They don't kill my Enraged Yeti. I mean, I could pass. They waste three mana. I'd waste one mana, though, also. It's just like saving two. You know, it's just like difference of two mana. I think I'd rather just play this Trapper. Keep the pressure on.
never lost a fair game or played one. All that glitters. Ages pass, yet I remain. So it's just too likely that they killed the enraged. You know, if I play Tall Tales, it's just too likely they they killed the enraged Yeti. All right, so we'll get the Frozen Thrall countdown going. Get that countdown started. There's lots of cards that can kill that enraged Yeti now. Lots of cards. This is gonna be fun. Do not embarrass me, troll. Non-leveled up Hecarim is nine power. Over the three bodies, but the so Kordek has been trying to make Hecarim work yesterday, and, and uh, that's what he said in Discord. He's like, "Man, Rune Runner is just as effective as Hecarim, and." For like the mana cost, the spell shield, All and you know it's a common. Look out for you got a problem? I know there's lots and lots of removal they could could use and kill all my stuff, but only got four mana. The less things they have in play, the better for me as well. Things die to removal. That's how life get. That's how life is. Like this. I got an extra card in hand than they do. And all this other stuff. Ooh, I didn't expect that to work. Combo? No, not our combo. You know, the A drop. I'm just gonna pass for right now. Because imagine if we would have if we would have hit the eight drop right there, we would have round start put in two eight drops, would have leveled up Lissandra. Would have been pretty awesome. Thing is, I don't have room for all this. I need I need two board spots for Ice Pillar plus Remitter next round. Oh wait, I'll go Ice Pillar plus Remitter next round and then play Lissandra, because again, Lissandra puts that other Frozen Thrall in play and that I don't have room for that other Frozen Thrall. <laughs> I'm never lucky. I've now done the combo three times and I'm 0 for 3. Of getting one of the busted cards. Oh, for three. Yeah, code for this deck, um, exclamation point deck, will get you there to the link to the deck list. And you can find the code there. Cool, good draw. So like, leveled up Lissandra, like they have to get rid of that, right? Cause it like leveled up Lissandra shuts down Leviathan. Very good where we are. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue card. 
blue as the serpent. Do I just avalanche? Okay. Guess we don't have to de determine what we're doing. They're just gonna pick their cards up, go home. And we are two and oh. See, I like this Yeti deck. I think we got some more power at the top end for our Yetis. Thank you very much. I did have a very high win rate with Turbo Thralls last season. I haven't played it at all this season since the changes. But every time I played it last season, we did we did really well. All right, Echo Zillion. I like everything in the hand. I could send Stalking Shadows back, but I kind of like everything in the hand. You know, it's good to have Ancient Yeti in the opener. Stalking Shadows can, can help us dig a little bit looking for Abominable Guardian. This is again a you know control deck that's playing a slower game. I'll also just take this trade. You know, I don't have a Bombable Guardian right now. We'll get some one mana five fives in the deck. Alright, so they got a Hexite Crystal A in their deck, and we got some one mana five fives in our deck. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah, that hex. Yeah, that fallen feline is one of the strongest cards in the expansion. That card is incredible. I'm gonna play the Lissandra. Interesting reaction. I'm gonna get the um, Frozen Thrall countdown started. Do you think Spirit Fire is a good card to include in Turbo Thralls? Probably not. I think it's too slow against most stuff and things. Most stuff and things. Oh dear, who upset the tower guardian? <laughs> Jack says I don't even care about the crystal, they're just the the cat's voice lines are gold. Didn't find the eight drop, but we got our so we got our other ancient yeti. Oh, that's pretty good. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Really? They are researching, that's for sure. <laughs> Having Stalking Shadows miss is always a feels bad. so much. We even put two extra enraged yetis into the deck. And it's not like we don't have very many followers. We have 18 normally, so like it's like we have 20. And we're looking at four cards. And we missed twice. Look out for reavers. Ready the torches. The ice is melting. Yeah, I understand champions make a miss. Like I said, we had, we still have eighteen followers normally. I didn't I didn't say units. The trolls are going to war. At my command. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just and so like with the you know because we put the two enraged yetis in there as well. Hmm. Okay, well.
Calling strike. They created parallel convergence in the deck somewhere. It's the one with the free attack. board space issues helping us out a little bit. Hey, it's all right, this is going to be our fourth time to do it. Okay, we got our best one so far. We got the third best one with She Who Wanders. That's the best one we've gotten so far. It's the third best one overall. We shall take it. I wonder if that's even worth it. Probably not. Embrace the Okay, so now we avalanche. Clear up some blockers. Clear up a blocker. Not overwhelm still coming in. Yeah, Yeti's growling. So we do have to be worried about them having the uh, the card that puts all these back, these things that die, put, puts them all back into play. Chrono break. Okay, not chrono break. Alright. Not chrono break. We still need two more A tromps if we want to play a the watcher. I'm just passing. If I try playing Tall Tales and they that would be that's this is gonna level up Zillion. I don't want Zillion to level up. If I play Tall Tales and they just shoot my Yeti Yearling then we would just go back on top of the deck. But alright. That'll do.
three and oh. So we got the cool Yeti stuff plus the extra power of Lissandra Trundle. This is working out well. Okay, playing to get some Thralls. Thralls are kind of tough for Yetis because Thralls go bigger, right? Like they're eight eights, Thrall Yetis are five fives. So we'll see, you know, like we do have like the Ice Pillar Remitter combo. And so I guess I'm going to keep that and just see what we draw early on. Don't like the Avalanche at all. Don't like them having round one Frozen Thrall at all. Really don't like the Avalanche still. Okay, so this has gone as poorly as it possibly could after keeping the two fives. Not only have we drawn a whole bunch of nothing, I will bury the world in ice. they have the best possible one, two, three. Ages pass. So, so far, so not good. Doesn't get too much worse than this. Okay. So sometimes you just get destroyed. And it looks like this is one of those times. Looks like this is one of those times. You cannot fight the cold. Thanks, JJ. <laughs> JJ goes, they're only missing promising future. <laughs> oh, our third avalanche. How about that? So we've drawn a full house of avalanches and vile feasts in this matchup. Hooray. Hooray. We can't entomb a, a landmark. I'm considering entombing that 8 7. You got a problem? Come on, come on. But I'm king. I think Thralls need lower HP, like they'd be 8 6s instead of 8 8s. Kind of reasonable. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. They're trying to burn me out. I wish this was, you know, like a three mana or less card that I could play. Come on, Scythria. Pause Guardian. We are. We've never hit a Scythria or an Otacon. Ever. Never. Definitely wanted Cythria, right? Like 10-10 Cythria buffing, you know, doubling up all these things that would have been 
That would have been very important. Embrace the combat. Okay, that's important. No, they figured it out. Yeah, the Entomb. Ugh, I thought they didn't have Entomb. So that's kind of crazy. We were like right there. Like without that Entomb, if we don't die that round, we're kind of right there. And you know, like we got Spectral Matron, uh, Watcher combo and everything like that. They had to kill me like that round basically. When they Entomb my blocker, yes. All right, Sivir Zed, always a tough one to beat with this spell shield. Okay, so this is gonna be a slow start, but this is gonna be a great round four. Because round four, we can play Ancient Yeti and Tall Tales and get two five fives. Have a great day at work, Nasher. Without a sound. All right, so this means I'm not doing that round four, but obviously I'm going to kill the Zed whenever I can. Darkness. Which does mean I'm not doing uh, both of these round four. Heroes go hungry. Yeah, what a hand. What are these people curving out? These one, two, threes. Let's see, let's go with... Okay, let's just go with the sentry. These old eyes still see far in there. Look out for reavers! You can see the Nebastian border from here. I should have attacked the three right there. Gonna find a gift for an action, Same thing. Still got the attack for three in. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. These stories were true. These people. Out of the way. Wow. I don't understand why they're not challenging the vulnerable trapper. Should be attacking with the sentries here. That's all. We made it, Rip. I want to go home. Don't you hate it? <laughs> we'll get our legs then. All right, what kind of nine drops are there? Ready the torches. What kind of nine drops are there? A remitter and Yeti, ancient Yeti. Bright steel formation. Ledros. Off we go. Slow down. 
What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. Hopefully there's a nine mana card that kills Sivir somehow. I'm gonna play this first while I have a Yeti in play. So only one out of two because the other card was the seven drop. So we just did seven drop, nine drop with leveling up Lissandra. Yeah, Vile Feast can remove spell shield, but then it's, you know, what good is that doing me? I don't know. There aren't any 11 mana cards, right? <laughs> if I go Remitter on the Ledros, I don't think there's any 11 mana cards. I could get a seven. I could get a seven drop instead of this Remitter. It will hit a 10 mana card. Really, JJ? Are you sure about that? We'll get a 10 mana card from from that. Oh, you don't know? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, was, I would be shocked if that was the case. The opponent's life is still perfect. They got to get rid of two blockers with that. Live in the dreams. One life in exchange for another. Siren. Danger pays. Hunter really lived the dream this game. They just don't even support anything with this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> they're just showing off. Could give something plus one plus zero, but they're just like, nah, we don't don't need that. Don't need that. Don't worry about that. This one will do. Kings and vagrants alike will fall. Out of four. We're being boarded. I guess it would make sense to switch these two. I guess I was kind of just set on doing this, but I guess it would have made sense to just switch these two and have the 3-7 the and the 4-3, and then I would have kept Ledros alive. But then again, I kind of want to replay another... Oh, the thing is, I, I kind of want Ledros to die, though, so I can replay it for Lissandra. And also, right now, Sivir's the only thing that blocks Ledros, and Ledros is lethal, so actually this does make sense, doesn't it? So chat's saying that they, that nobody's quite sure, but chat's saying they think that you may just get a 10 card, 10 mana card if you would remit or Ledros, because with Tri-Beam, if it goes above 10, you still get a 10. Great card. We love it when they run. We're not doing too bad. Look at us. Look at us. Four and one. Wow. We had one drop, two drop into Zed, into Sivir, into I don't know something, and then Ruin Runner, and some Merciless Hunters, and some double attack. Got there. That Ledros was nice. That was pretty awesome. That was very impressive. 4-1 and, uh, you know, even our loss against the Thrall deck wasn't, you know, like, that wasn't one that it felt like it was necessarily a bad matchup, but, you know, just my opponent just had a better hand than us, you know, that kind of stuff. But this deck felt really, really powerful. 
and felt like it could beat everything. And, you know, you got like good early blockers, right? Like you got, you know, like these things are good against aggro. Yeti, Yearling, Sentry, Vile Feast, even Trapper and Avalanche. Um, so you got like that kind of stuff. You have the, the messed up Lissandra, how good that card is. And then you have some awesome combos. Ice, we did Ice Pillar, Ethereal Remitter all the time. Like that was a really good combo. And, uh, you know, you still have like the Abominable Guardians and all these Yetis. This deck felt really good, and then you have like Spectral Matron Watcher, and you just have like some Watcher stuff. And we didn't even, we were also like, we won all those games, and we didn't even get like the good combo, right? Like, we have, we have like our crazy combo that is not difficult to hit. Like I said, there's only six options for the tens, and we hit Plaza Guardian twice, Arbor of the Peak once, uh, She Who Wanders the fourth time. We did it four times, and we, you know, not a single time did we hit Cythria or Atticon, and that would just even make this deck even better as if you're hitting Cythria or Atticon. Okay, uh, but anyway, yeah, this deck was good. I recommend trying it out. So if you like Yetis, you want to try out a cool Yeti deck, give this one a try. I think this could be a really powerful deck because you got the power of Lissandra Trundle Watcher and the power of having a whole bunch of yetis and just some you got some real high roll potential that we didn't even showcase you have high roll potential of just having abominable guardians come into play right like if you stalking shadows and hit abominable guardian which we never did if you do that and you have two yetis in play now suddenly round start you're putting in two five fives immediately round start and then get to just swing with that and it's it's huge high roll potential and then um you know obviously as we're talking about the remitter with the 10 drop high roll potential so this is the kind of deck that um, it felt just really strong while we were playing normal games and all five of those, we didn't get any of those like super high rolls. And so like, that's definitely a, you know, a powerful thing is like, if you can, if you can just steal games, like however much percentage of the time because of crazy things with Abominable Guardian and Watcher and Ethereal Remitter and everything like that. All right. But anyway, that's going to be it here for Watcher Yetis. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck and how it works for you. This is definitely one I recommend trying out. Um, so if, if this these are the kind of cards you like to play, give it a try and let me know how it works for you. Hopefully it does really, uh, does really good. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Watcher Yetis and I'll see you for the next video. Say bye, pup. Thanks for watching. <laughs>